Right, can't lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Good morning my lovely people and to every new subscriber that's here welcome to the channel welcome to cutting through America so we're heading back up towards Chicago well we're going to the city called Milwaukee gonna be there for a couple of days then we're going to Minnesota here it is 94 degrees it is nice and hot five hours and 23 minutes away plus I believe that I found that the problem with the bike was that it just was overheating it was so hot that the bike wasn't able to cool the engine Hopefully we don't encounter any problems today. morning everyone we are currently in Milwaukee in uh, Wisconsin we are in Wisconsin so my plan is to take a little walk down the walkway here see if we can find someone on the uh, waterfront ahead to cut that's the plan so we've got boats that come down here we've also got people walking on the walkway it's not super busy but I'm confident I'm find someone I also need to get a haircut myself I look atrocious excuse me bro no I'm good all right cool man have a nice day yeah excuse me bro well, good yeah. luck, man. Good Thank luck. you, man. Well, nice to meet you. Nice Have a good day. You too. Good luck with good the luck. year. We'll See you later. Yeah? Tell you what, though, there there is not a lot of people here at the moment. Excuse me, boys. Have a nice one, yeah. Excuse me, bro. I just want to know if you would like a free haircut by any chance. Right now. Right now. Let's do it. Yeah. What's your name? Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. I'm Joel. When I go to the barber, I just tell him, "Hey, I, I think I trust you. I mean, I like it longer on top. You like it longer on shorter top? on the sides." But okay. so what I think for you would be way nicer is called it like a high taper, mm -hmm. which is just so it's still short on the sides, yeah. so it gives your head nice a lot of shape. Yeah. But it's going to just be nice and tidy in the corners of the back, give you lots of longevity in the haircut. And then the the top, I texturize it a bit. Do you have it to the left or to the right? I don't know, man. I usually just throw it. In. <laughs> Hope it looks good. Uh, hope it looks good. All right, well, you need me to, to do the top as well, yeah? All right, I'll trust you. So what has been your greatest adventure in life so far? Greatest adventure? I don't know. I mean, I think back to when me and my friends went to, uh, to Europe a couple years ago. Have you been to Europe, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Started in England, actually London. Then we went to Norway for a week. And then my friends left. And then my brother-in-law came up to visit me. And so we went to Germany, we went to France, we went sure. to England. Uh, when I went to Germany with my brother-in-law, everything went to... <laughs> yeah, everything just went wrong, but looking back, it made some some of the, the best memories. Best I mean, memories. Sometimes the things that are planned make for the best memories. Exactly. Right? I mean, every train we tried to jump on, yeah. we were either late or we had to run through the station to catch it. We were at the wrong train station. Oh my gosh, uh, it's like one thing after another. Every, yeah, like our Airbnbs were in weird places. We were like, uh, this is... And you couldn't get to it. <laughs> Where's just, been your favorite place that you've been nature-wise in your lifetime? I love the ocean and just how, how much biodiversity they have there from like the little animals crawling around in the sand or at the bottom of the ocean to you know the big fish and it's sharks. It's a whole different world, right? Yeah. Would you like scuba dive or would you need to do like underwater sports? I tried scuba diving and I did terribly. I'd have nightmares yeah. at night that I'm drowning. Oh God. It's squat scuba diving. I tell them this. But they and they're like, go over baby. Well, no, they're like, oh man, that's so scary. Where are you scuba diving? And I'm like, in a pool, and they're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what, what do you think freaked you out about scuba diving? Was it just the breathing underwater that just didn't seem right just, to you? I could just not get comfortable. I think we did this over the course of two weekends or whatever. Two weekends. Two or three weekends. more time. Yeah, if I had maybe 10 days to just stay in the shallow end and just kind of relax, I think I could be able to do it. <laughs> just do it, I'm just doing it to make people smile, man. Yeah, you can try the motherfucking just for the scenery. 
I think people nowadays are scared of failing and I think failure is like such an important part of growing. Yeah, for sure. I hear it a lot when you fall in love with failing you end up just being successful with whatever you do like I think there's this culture where uh, nowadays especially where you've got to have everything figured out at like 18 years old right. <laughs> and the world just doesn't work like that yeah but obviously because you see it on social media you automatically think oh that's how my life has got to be did you ever find that like growing up social media being like a bad influence on or do you feel like it was just a positive place for you to be you know luckily I think I grew up in a time where social media wasn't as big. I mean, it, it was definitely big, but I think Snapchat was starting yeah, to come out. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days. Instagram was kind of coming out. Everyone was on Facebook back then, but I didn't really, I didn't really use social media. I still don't actually. So yeah, I, I feel bad for these kids going through high school or even middle school or whatever and having to deal with all that. Luckily, I dodged that bullet. But I love social media. I mean. Especially YouTube and yeah. the internet. People have said this before, but just learn anything, man. YouTube teaches you everything. And our generation is really good at that, just trying to, you know, figure or solve problems using the internet, social I media think, and stuff. I think that we try to figure stuff out before asking for help. I'm, I'm not That's sure, true. I'm not trying to cuss the new generation, but I think there's a lot of like hand holding. They ask the question before they try the problem. Yeah, I can see it. Does that make sense? Well, for sure. I mean, but I'd, I'm sure my coworkers and my work are probably like, man, we have to hold Michael's hand through everything. <laughs> 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 See your hair. Let's see it. Oh, nice, man. Oh, for so, sure. So loads of texture in the top. Yeah, and nice. You can, you can have it either styled down, and you've got just a nice little taper on the sides. Yeah. Gentleman's sure. cut. I like it, man. Yeah? Yeah. So, just your, your last one before you go. If there was any advice that you could give to a younger version of yourself, what would it be? I'd say, because I'm a naturally kind of shy person. Yeah. It really took halfway through high school for me to come out of my shell a little bit more. So yeah. Probably pre high school, Michael. I'd say, man, just do it. You gotta, you gotta take a step um, out take, of your comfort like take zone. Take a take a leap of faith. Just do it. Take a leap of faith. You know, there's gonna be times. We were talking about failure. There's gonna be yeah. times when you fail. There's gonna be times when you look foolish. But hey, everyone does that. Everyone looks foolish sometimes. So you gotta roll with the punches. Have fun and not take life too seriously. Awesome, man. That's yeah. wicked. Cool. Thank you so much thanks for Thanks so much, bro. It was cool. No, this is awesome, cool, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for approaching me when yeah. I was looking at the dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got one hair cut down, which is great. He was an awesome guy to chat to, man. Do you know the thing is, with what I'm doing, you just gotta be brave enough to just walk up to someone and say, can I give you a free haircut? And listen, I go through a lot of no's, and I get only a couple of yeses, so just gotta roll with it sometimes. So that was a, a great haircut. Great product as well. By the way, if anyone wants to use some of the Slick Gorilla, use my code JOEL10 and you'll be able to get 10% off. A cool little custom R8. Banging. Guys, excuse the messy hair, but we are coming at AJ Bombers where apparently they have pretty good burgers in Wisconsin. So we're gonna go in now, get some food because I'm absolutely starving. So we've got some cheese grits to start. disappointed in the burger it was not good at all I can't believe that There's nothing worse than getting food and it being bad food AJ bombers thumbs down from me <laughs>